Here's a tip on using iBooks, and you can import your PDFs and have them organized so that you can quickly search and find them. So, put your PDFs into iBooks, and in iBooks, you can actually sort right from your iBook collection. So, I'm looking for a, a book on iOS programming. I can just start typing in the name of the book. So, in this case, it's uh, called Human Interface. Um, so, as soon as I start typing it, it narrowed down my selection, and there's the programming book on iOS Human Interface. Sometimes, though, you really don't know the name of that book, and in those cases, you might want to go ahead and put your books into categories. So, Apple calls them collections, and we can put a collection of our books. I have several books for iOS. And now that I have them in here, I can actually sort, organize, and move these books around in the order that makes sense to me. Now, if you have a lot of books, maybe you might even have 50, 100 books, you still want to be able to find those books quickly. So if it makes more sense to do a graphic interface sorting, you can do that. You can just touch on any book and drag it to whatever location you want it to go. So we'll put a in this order. But uh, in some cases you want it in alphabetic order. So we'll just go to list view and we'll type in the um, touch in the list view. Now this is showing, showing us the order that we manually put them in. We actually move this book into the very top of our bookshelf as we can see here. But if we want to sort alphabetically we'll just touch title and now it's sorting them by alphabetical order. Uh, that's fine if you know the name of the book that you're looking for. A lot of times you might not know the name and you can even break this down a little further yet. I'm going to touch program, touch categories and look for my programming books. So I have the ones on computers, iOS, and then the last group is programming. And now I know that this is in the iOS section and under programming, and I have two choices. I'm looking for this one that's called iOS Human Interface for Programming. Hopefully this helps. We'll talk to you later.